because of uh, your uh, conference obligations and everything, what is the best possible scenario for the Pitt Penn State rivalry? Yeah, it's a tough question. I, you know, again, I just believe that that would be a great rivalry to play every year. And I, you know, they're on the schedule, so I know we're playing. I think it's 15 and 16 or something thereabouts. So I just think it's something that, that if we could, both athletic directors could get together and talk about, and then both coaches talk about. If we can't do it, we can't do it because of conference obligations. But if we could work it out, I think it would be a great rivalry. Do you, think, do you think it changes recruiting? Do you think it helps recruiting when you have that big in-state rival, those two big in-state rivals? I just playing? think it's great for college football. I think recruiting is about relationships and how you how you uh, develop a relationship with the prospect, you know, on campus uh, with their families. So I don't, I'm not sure how it would affect recruiting. I just think it's more about what's great for the state of Pennsylvania and what's, what's really good about uh, college football. I know you can't talk about specific recruits, but how competitive is the recruiting in Western PA? There's a lot of programs from across the country coming in here. How, how difficult is it to recruit this area? Recruiting's competitive, period. And yeah. so now when you talk about a great, in my opinion, a really strong high school football state, then that just makes it even that much more competitive. And so again, we've got to do a great job. We've got all nine guys that have an area of Pennsylvania. We've got two guys in Western Pennsylvania. And, uh, you know, we, we have to do an excellent job of finding the right fit for Penn State, but making sure that we're you know, crossing our T's and dotting our I's in the state of Pennsylvania, no question about it. Guy, can you talk about where you are as far as building your program, getting it ready, and sort of an update of where you are right now? Sure, right now we had our first year uh, as a club program, was, uh, along with my staff, and, and they were very busy. I think there was two times all year that the three of us were in the office at the same time. So it was a lot of a lot of behind the scenes work, a, a lot of recruiting, and, and this year will will be a division. The first year that Penn State will be in Division One, uh, it will be an independent. Uh, so we'll play roughly 34 games. I think 21 of them are going to be division against Division One opponents, and and then the year after, that's when we move into the Big Ten, um, which will be the first time that uh, we have Big Ten hockey, and uh, the, the the five other teams that are that are competing now have absolutely dominated their, their leagues. And nationally, they, they blow everybody away. Uh, so we're, we're jumping in the big boys right away. Uh, but we're going to do it with a beautiful arena. Uh, Mr. and Mrs. Terry Pagula have donated a lot of money to make sure that we have a tremendous facility right on campus, which is going to be great. So it's going to be the best hockey conference that their college hockey conference that's ever been. Uh, it's going to be in an unbelievable building. We're going to get some of the passion that Coach O'Brien talked about with the with the student body and the fans and alumni and bring it right in a small box and just pack it. What, what type of expectations do you put on the program in its first year heading? Uh, to continue and improve and, and and the expectations are to be following the foundation that, that we expect. Coach O'Brien talked about why he came to Penn State. I, I feel really good actually a lot very similar. Uh, learned a lot of Princeton in terms of values and uh, what well, we didn't necessarily call it that, but success with honor is something that's very important to me. I think it's not only is that it's important, I think you can win that way and, and build confidence that way. And I know through uh, what Coach O'Brien has talked about, not only to the media or groups, but individuals and myself when I, when I, when I had the first chance to meet him, that he's, he's very dialed in on that. And it makes me feel really good that, you know, uh, that I feel very congruent with the values that this athletic department is going with. Would you like to see the program get to the point someday where you can host a, an outdoor game, maybe at Beater, Beater Stadium? It's become very popular. I know in Ohio they did it. Uh, the Buckeyes played, I think, at Progressive Field. Uh, yes. they, you know, they've, 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 obviously the NHL has been, been doing it in Canada, the Heritage. I mean, is that, is that something that maybe down the road is, would be exciting and, 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 and welcome? I think, well, personally, I think it would be really exciting. I, and I think uh, we'll have to borrow his building. But uh, that's, that's probably more up to him. I think it would be great. I think there's been a lot of alumni I've received that question. I think there would be a lot of support for it. Would you let him play on Beaver State? <laughs> you have to check with Herb Coles. <laughs> no, I think that would be great. You know, I, was, I went to the, uh, by the way, I put my Tim Thomas jersey on the other night when I got beat up and no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but no, I, I, uh, I went to the, when I was with the Patriots, uh, when the Bruins, I think the Bruins Fenway. played the Flyers. Yeah, the Fenway. In Fenway. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I went to the game, and Boston College has played in, in, in Fenway, and so that's a neat, that's a great deal. So I've seen it firsthand; it's pretty neat. So yeah, I'd be all for it.